This video is step 2 in the process of installing your IP cameras onto your network. After assembling all the required hardware as outlined in the first video, you must now configure the cameras to work on your network. Before running the general configuration tool on your computer, you must first ensure that your camera is connected to your network either directly to the router or through a switch box. You can use either a power over ethernet port to eliminate the need for an additional power supply or a standard non-PoE network port. For the configuration process, it will be much less complicated to only connect one camera at a time to avoid creating IP conflicts between the cameras as they most likely all have the same default IP address. Once it's connected, you're going to open up the config tool here and you'll see a list of devices connected to your network. This here is our camera, the default IP address being 192.168.1.108. So you're going to click login, enter the username and password and login. Here you'll be able to change the IP address to one of your choosing. Before you do that though, you need to make sure that the IP address you're going to assign has not already been used by another device on the network. To do that, if you open up the command prompt, first we'll use the command IP config. That will show us our computer's IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. We need to make sure that the subnet mask and gateway for our, our IP camera are exactly the same as our default gateway and subnet mask for our network. So here we have 255.255.255.0 and that matches and the default gateway 192.168.1.1 that matches. So we're not going to change those at all. Next thing we need to make sure if we want to assign the IP address 192.168.1.109 we need to make sure that no device on the network is using that IP address so we're going to use the command in the command prompt ping 192.168.1.109 and we get the response destination host unreachable meaning that that IP address is not being used. For example, if we had used the IP address .108 ping 192.168.1.108 we will receive a reply meaning that that IP address is being used currently by our camera. So here we will change it to 109 because we know that that IP address is available. Leaving the subnet mask and the gateway as they are and click save. And save succeeded. Now we refresh and there we see our camera with IP address 109. So now if we ping 192.168.1.109 we get a response meaning that it recognizes the device on the network and if we try 108 we won't get a response destination host unreachable if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel like us on facebook thank you for watching